Okay, so today is a Pilates hit workout. So it's Tabata style, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight exercises, then you get a 60 second rest, and then we do four rounds of that. So grab mat, weights, if you don't have weights, grab a water bottle, grab stuff something in carry bags, anything to give those arms a little bit more of a challenge, um, and grab water if I've not already said that. Modify as ever, if it doesn't really feel right for your body, then listen to that and do what you fancy. It's only 20 seconds of exercise, so substitute or just sit that one out. Um, it is still Pilates, so I still will want you to focus on that rib to hip connection. So if you've been to my classes, I do talk about this area quite a lot. So you'll have your natu natural posture wherever that is, and that's absolutely fine, but it tends to mean you'll often lead with certain muscle groups and leave others out. So this rib to hip connection, just do a few pelvic tilts to see where you sit as your norm. So you can either put hands front and back, thinking about lengthening tailbone down, or thinking about hips coming up to ribs to shorten that connection there, and then lengthen hips away or sticking tailbone out. So just do a couple there, and then you want to come to a middle ground, so you've just naturally got a bit of lengthening down or a bit of hip coming up to ribs, so you're just gently aware of connection here. You can still breathe into that belly, you're not fixing down on that, but I will cue you thinking about rib to hip connection. So as you're squatting, for example, you might find that you let the ribs pop and st stick tailbone out. So rib to hip connection will be lengthening that tailbone down and re-getting that connection instead of being out here somewhere or softening through the back. So that is what I mean when I keep harping on about rib to hip connection. But all that aside, just enjoy it. Right, let's get going. So what we've got first, foot series to warm up. So this is where we come on tiptoes, soften through the knees, drop the heels and standing up. Are we ready? Off we go. And I doubt we're gonna hit for the feet on this workout. So don't worry about trying to hit the beat. Right, we're going to reverse it. So we come hip toes, lengthen, lower. I find this way harder. Last one. Okay, what have we got next? Scooters, feel free to grab weights in this. So sit that weight down, we're taking leg in and out. So weights more on your heels. You can have arms out or low. And if you want more, add a little pop-up at the end. Just aiming to warm the legs up. And we're going to do this on the other side. So, sitting over, sit back. So it's a sit back into that heel. We go again. So just tune into that good hip flexion here. You can add that pop up if you want. And then you want the leg moving. Last one. Next, what we got? Standing scissors to lunge. So we're going to come up, lunge back. Optional arm, bicep, tricep. So we stick with the same leg. And you're looking for that rib to hip control throughout. Swap it over, other leg. Ready? So bicep to tricep. Please really press the floor away to come up tall. Hopefully you feel heart rate coming up. Last one. Next. Okay, we're lunging out to the side and a scissor up. So down, lift. Again, focus that rib to hips so you're not collapsing through the middle. Really sink into that leg. Keep 
breathing. And we'll swap over the other side. If long lead is too much, soften through the elbow, shorten the lever. Ready? Press. Float. I can't remember what I did my arms. Do what you fancy. You might go high. You might leave them out. Last one. Reverse. Next. Flat of the chair. So we hold a chair. So checking that ribs and hip. We plow arms up. Press palms back. Squeeze those weights. Get more activity through rotator cuffs and the shoulders. Break after this one. Okay. So we've got an abdominal section next. You still want your weights maybe. So we're going to have some roll ups here, you need to be able to rock off that sit bone, create a C, and that might be just here, or you might come into a larger range. So see what suits, and then when we're down on the floor, you've got the option of head down, abdo prep, so you melt ribs to hips to float the head, or propping, if you're propping, press the floor away, so you're lifted through the shoulders. So they're your options, which I'll cue you in. But we're going to start up with roller and lifting arms up overhead. So you're up on sit bones, we roll off sit bone, and then you're reaching up without letting the ribs pop. You've got that control. Off we go. That might be small range, you might be larger range. So see where your control is. And keep breathing. We're adding an oblique row next time, so it's still a roll up, roll up, so we roll, open, and go the other way. Off we go. Smiling? Of course you are. Halfway. Go on, one more. What is next? A great prep. Oh no, full roll down. So feet away from bone. Roll it down. Arms wide. Stacking back up. You want more, lengthen one leg. Two reps, one leg. And we'll swap over with the leg if it's off. One more. Good. Next. Scissors. So you're propped, you're on the floor, or abdo prep. Lengthen and in, opposite leg. So slow, or pick your pace. Focus that ribs to hip. Nothing shifts in lower back. Keep pressing the floor on the arms if you're up here. next. You might stay propped, you might be head on the floor, you might be up so prep. So take your option. And we're going to bicycle the legs round. Focus again that rib to hip, nothing shift. And you're breathing. Swap it. I'm going it hard this way round. Good work. Keep saying good work, so it's on the music. It's gonna get annoying. Hundreds. Take your weights. You are either here or you're lengthening. Head can be down, you can stay in abso prep. Go on, one more. Ignore the weights on this one. 
You either head down or still abdo press. We're tapping legs. We take arms overhead. You could have had weights in your arms actually, sorry. Breathe out as you tap down. Control that belly. One more, more. Roll like a ball next. We're rolling back onto shoulders, not to your neck. And you're trying to get balance. So you roll it. Back it up. Control. Hands onto legs. I could do a little bit of help on the way up. Or find that balance. Stay away from that left. You get a break. Right, what's coming up next? Uh, right, we're coming over onto all fours and some side kneeling stuff with this. So first off, we've got leg pulling prone prep. So you can either stay tabletop, tucking toes, hover off, lower down. You can walk the hands forward. Hover up, press to full plank, come back, touch down again, or you can press and come back and keep the hover. Final option, you press, lengthen one leg away, and swap legs. When we come to the side kneel step, try and stay stacked hip over knee, that switches off the bottom glute more. If that's too strong, either bring hands onto some blocks, or walk the hand away to take the pressure off that, that hip. So, on all fours, take your option. So hover, press, or touch down between. Keep pressing the floor away, through the hands. Press, rib to hip, focus still there, because not banana backing. Last one. Lift and lower. So we take that tilt. Lift, lower. Full range, we can keep it small little pulses. So you're, take your option. Keep pressing the hips forward. Keep going. Press it up. And swap it over. So take that lean, press the hips forward. So full lift and lower, or little pulses. Lengthen the head away so you're not holding your head up. Keep pressing forward. You can see my legs sinking on this side. Good work. Gotta stop saying that, good work. <laughs> right, we're going back through the sides. Put an oblique tap down. So it up. You lean as far as you can, press the hips forward. Tapping down, coming up. You're going to want to sink back in that hip, but press the hip forward. You should feel the obliques really switched on here. We go other side. You ready? So reach at the top. No sinking into that hip. Keep going. Last one. Right, we're coming to low plank. So onto your forearms. Walk one foot back, press the heel away, other side. And then tuck the knees down, lift them off. So slower or pick up the pace. Press the floor away through the forearms. Last one. Good. High plank, tap out. So you're coming full plank. And we're going out, out, in, in. So press the core away. You can pick up the pace. Keep breathing. Check your bum's not sticking up in the air. Oh, 
onto your belly. We're coming to a flatter kick. So lengthen tailbone, legs up, pulse them in and out. Do you think about tailbone lengthen so you feel bum and legs working and not into lower back? Shoulders away from the ears. Yeah, we're gonna break. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, I swap these around. Right, we've got spine twists coming next. So two options on this one. So you either full side plank. Lock those feet into one another. I prefer the top leg over the bottom. Let's see what you prefer. And then from here, you press bum up and aim to hit that back half. So you're here, twist it back. That's too strong. You come into one knee down in your side plank, and you're still touching that, touching that top hand back through to the car to feel the obliques kick in. So take your option. Are you ready? So press back. Really ground through the feet. Press bum high. Press. Shoulder working strongly here. You walk, head stays up, you walk the feet in, 
You want the feet back. You've got to keep pressing it through the way through the forearms. Keep going. Oh. And we're done. I hope your heart is sweaty mess too. <laughs> but 20 minutes and you've had a full body resistant workout and you've got your heart rate up. Hope you enjoyed. Drop any comments in the um, workout group and I will get back to you and I'll see you all soon. Thank you.